Now look, Jackie Brown said. Look nothing, the stocky man said. I'm getting old. I spent my whole life sitting around in one crummy joint after another with a bunch of punks like you, drinking coffee, eating hash, and watching other people take off for Florida while I got to sweat how the hell I'm going to pay the plumber next week. I've done time and I stood up, but I can't take no more chances. That's just one example of the writing from The Friends of Eddie Coyle by George V. Higgins, an amazing work of crime fiction. Robert Mitchum, who played Eddie Coyle in the movie, said this of the Higgins novel. I think that work like his is necessary for people to understand something about the humors of the criminal mentality. The novel is set in the less than picturesque areas of Boston, where we're taken to clandestine encounters most of us will never experience. We've got a middleman trying to deal with a gun runner, a group of wannabe bank robbers, a stool pigeon dealing with a cop, and a man who works for the man. We witness scenes that don't have and don't need explanations, sometimes with characters who aren't even named. Higgins masterfully drops us into these scenes, making us feel as if we're eavesdropping on some low-level criminal enterprise. And if we make any sounds, even turning a page too quickly, these guys might be alerted to our presence. Eddie Coyle is a lower-tier criminal who gives up one of his contacts in an effort to reduce an upcoming prison sentence in another state. Even though we're reading a novel, Higgins' descriptions tell us that these settings are far from glamorous, ordinary at best, sleazy at worst. Trailers, crummy coffee shops, and industrial sites that most people will never see. There's nothing slick or flashy about the novel, but it all feels authentic. Credit Higgins and his background. Higgins was Massachusetts-born, a former United States prosecutor then a high-profile criminal defense lawyer whose clients included Black Panther Eldridge Cleaver and, from Watergate fame, G. Gordon Liddy. Much of the dialogue is about applying leverage and maintaining self-preservation, and these guys will do anything for self-preservation. If you've seen the 1973 movie, know that the film is very faithful to the book. But reading the novel will open up the story in refreshing ways that you'll very much appreciate. If you enjoy crime fiction, you won't want to miss The Friends of Eddie Coyle, the novel which inaugurated the Boston noir subgenre and, astonishingly, was Higgins' first novel. You can find various editions of The Friends of Eddie Coyle, including this mass market paperback, which I found in a used bookstore, or in the most recent release, a 40th anniversary edition featuring an introduction by Dennis Lehane. Do yourself a favor and seek out the movie as well. And if you have seen the movie, check out our Great Movies virtual discussion of the film featuring special guest Jedediah Ayers, which will be available right here very soon. Hey, thanks for watching. Keep viewing great movies and reading great movie books.